Welcome guys, in this video I'm going to demonstrate to you how I make a die from this bit of steel to make screw threads. Just really quickly before I part off, I don't have a parting tool that has the length to cut all the way through this material, so I'm just going to use a handsaw and go really slow just to make sure I don't um, slip and hit the base of the lathe, which is a way that many lathes get damaged. So now that the hole is tapped, it's time to create the cutting edges of the die. So this is an M4 die, it's a lot larger than the one that I'm making, but the principle is the same. So it has these three holes around the center hole which um, form these cutting edges. Basically I'm going to try and recreate the same thing but in a smaller die. To achieve that, I'm basically using some different attachments that come with the lathe. Let me show you what's going on. This dividing head is a 40 to 1 worm gear ratio. I'm using uh, the 21 hole pattern plate. So to get three evenly spaced holes at 120 degrees apart, I'm going to have to do each hole at 13 full revolutions and then seven hole spaces. I've already centered the two holes using the center and I've already offset it approximately one millimeter.
So this is what the die looks like at the moment. There was a thin bit of material left around the center hole as these three holes didn't quite break through. It was very thin. I used the jeweler saw to make the small incisions and I cleaned it up and I cleaned the burr up with a fine rat tail needle file and just ran the surfaces over um, some 1200 grit emery paper. So now the machining is finished to make the die, I need to harden and temper the tool. So the way I do that is I made this little container out of copper tubing, just like this stuff. So this not only helps hold the part, but the copper is a great conductor of heat and makes like a little oven in there. So um, the heat doesn't dissipate away and you can get a more even distribution of heat. So I'm going to heat up the dye now to a cherry red, quench it in water. It is a water hardening carbon steel. And then I'm going to give it a quick polish and temper it to a light straw color. Here's the dye after hardening. As you can see, it's a like a matte gray color. I'm just gonna wash this in a bit of denatured alcohol and then I'm gonna clean it up and temper it. So now to temper the tool, I'm going to use a alcohol lamp with denatured alcohol. And I have a small brass little pot that I'm gonna fill with these uh, brass chips from turning in the lathe. The reason for this is the brass distributes heat quite evenly, so it's the best chance that I have to heat the tool um, completely in a uniform manner. This is my backup alcohol lamp. The one that I use mostly has an adjusting knob to move the wick up and down and a much thinner uh, wick, like a quarter inch wick. I think this is a half inch wick. It's probably too thick for what I need. So the flame is a bit big. I'm gonna do my best. I don't know why with this alcohol lamp, it's getting a lot of carbon. I don't have that with my other one. It burns quite clean, but it should still do the job. So it's turning now. It's a bit of a straw yellow. I'm going to pull the dye out. Let's have a close look. So it's got a straw color over the tool. Thanks for watching this video. Tune in to the next episode to see if I can actually turn a steel screw with this die that I made for my watch. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see any of my upcoming videos, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or something you want to say, feel free to leave it in the comment section below.